Hey guys, mail call outdoors, something new. We're on a field trip. It's beautiful out, so that's part of the reason I wanted to film outdoors. And today we're gonna start off with the 43X. I think I paid around 400 bucks for it. That does not include the trigger. It's a Johnny Glock trigger, which I really, really like. It's like a two-stage trigger, make fun of me if you want, but you feel that it goes to the wall and it's just nice, crisp trigger. 10 times better than the standard Glock trigger, but this may be my new concealed carry. This is kind of a fun gun to have around. And dig this one and the next gun is a wilson combat hunter now if you're new to the channel i'm a big fan of 10 millimeters and that's what this one is it's a beast i have another one just like this but in 460 rolling which is just as much of a barker but gentlemen out of park city name of the store chad bespoke bespoke can never remember that for some ungodly reason but it's a cool little store you guys need to go check them out my buddy james there reached out and said you need to own this gun and i said yes i agree so i bought it i think i paid around five thousand bucks for it does have a crimson trace laser which I kind of dig, but you know, this is good, you know, backup if you're out hunting. It's a pretty cool gun. How this gun came about was that they ordered these two guns, my buddy James did, and basically Wilson Combat forgot or something happened in the meantime. And they called Wilson Combat, say, hey, we never got our guns, blah, 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 blah. And they said, well, Wilson Combat said, okay, we'll step up, basically make you two more guns. And that's it. We're not going to make any more of the 10 millimeters. So that's how they got a hold of two of them. And I got one of them. Pretty cool of James for reaching out to me for uh, getting this gun. But I dig it a lot. Decent trigger as well. So it's Wilson. You can't beat him. Next is the Canic built by Terran Tactical. You guys have probably seen this gun on YouTube before. Pretty slick little gun. We shot this yesterday at the ranch. Shot very well. I dig this gun quite a bit just because, you know, I kind of dig Terran's guns a lot. Shoots well, nice trigger. Comes with a lot of goodies. Got your back strap edition. Little tool kit. I see it right there, it's in the little gun. And then if you pick this up on the sides, you have a bunch of other goodies. Cleaning kit, holster, loader, even a challenge coin. Now, this kit's going for a thousand bucks, I believe is what we looked it up at. And you get a lot of bang for your buck. Pretty cool little gun, that's for sure. Check those out. Next, guys, is the Cabot of the Month. Now, if you're new to the channel, we get one of these a month, and this month is going to be the Jones Gatsby 1911 Cabot. Beautiful gun, very heavy, which is a good thing because there's gonna be no recoil. It's chambered in 45. Mags are pretty slick, whether they're machined. I dig those a lot. And this thing is very pretty. It'll definitely show your uh, fingerprints all over it, and it's smooth as glass. I dig these Cabots a lot, and we'll be featuring another one, probably next mail call, which I think is called the Zeus, which is gonna be pretty slick. I paid around, I think, $12,000 for that one. This one, a gentleman, well, actually, Chad knows him pretty well. His name's Colton, 801 Weapons Work in Utah. He built this for me. I think I paid $3,500, and he cuts and built this for me with a Cerakote, which I dig a lot, and I can put my suppressor on it. I mean, he built a very, very nice rifle, that's for sure. Definitely gonna go out and play with this out there in the range. Nice, you know, classical stock. You know, you can't beat it. He did a really, really, really good job, and I thank him for doing it for me. Just a little side note, Colton does really, really good work. He basically, he doesn't machine any of these himself. He just orders parts online and he assembles whatever gun it is you want. But the thing that makes it nice is if you're new into guns or if you just want a really high-end gun and you don't want to go buy something off the shelf and then manipulate it yourself, you can just tell him exactly what you want and he'll source all these parts and make whatever tier rifle you want. And I guarantee you the level of rifle you get for the price you get is significantly lower than if you were to buy the same level of rifle off the shelf. That's sort of his claim to fame. Uh, so shout out to him. If you want to check him out, it is 801 Weapon Works out of Utah. Chad's right. Bad ass gun. Can't beat it. I can't wait to get out in the range and play with it and show uh, Chad how to shoot. It's going to be cool. The next one is my new air gun. Utah Air Guns contacted me. Want to know if I would like to have this new one. I said, hell yeah. And I first saw it, I thought, holy shit, that's intimidating. And then I started playing with it. And you'll see in a later video of how accurate this little bastard is. I know it's around $6,300 for this beast. And I'm still learning my air guns, guys. I know I'm old and all that kind of shit. And I usually play with daisies. But this one, if I had this when I was a kid, oh boy, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Thank God we didn't have cell phones in either. Uh, you guys would have a lot of ammo on me. But this thing is beautiful. We shot it. Really want it. It's a beautiful day today. It's not even windy. Today would be a good day to take it out and play with it. For sure. Take it out to the ranch and plink away. But I might have to build a range just for pellet guns at the ranch now. After I think about it. I don't know. I'll find a spot for it on a thousand acres. I'm pretty sure we'll find something. But you guys, I mean, it's a 22 caliber. It's got a 6 to 36 element scope on it. And, it, you know, it's a... They call it the Air Marksman M3 Impact, is what I called it, or you can call it the FX. FX is the name of the, the company that built it, and it's an M3 Impact, which is the model. And I like the trigger. Holds air, seems like forever. I feel like you never run out. I mean, we just keep shooting. 36 round mag, which goes right in the back, so it kind of reminds me of a bullpup, maybe a little bit. But this is a joy, real joy 
to shoot. I just need to get a bipod for it, take it out to range, and show Chad how to shoot this. It's gonna be awesome. And the biggest ticket item on mail call today is my new truck. Now, to give you a little bit of backstory why I had to get a new one, in the video we had a couple months back, you would have saw my other first one and it was beat up from hail. It was golf ball, tennis ball size hail. I drove through it. If you guys never drove in through that, it sucks. Sounds like somebody with a you know sledgehammer just beating the shit out of your truck. So the insurance company totaled it, thank God. And I think I paid 72 for the truck back then. It was 2020, 2019. And they gave me 66 for it. And I thought, well, that's pretty damn good until I looked up this one. Base price was around... I think it was ninety to hundred thousand dollars, but I told myself I was going to get something I really wanted, something like a Garage Queen, since I own a, a Dodge 2500 2010 as my beater. That's mainly for the ranch, and I'll drive it all. The time. I bought this out of St. Louis, uh, out of dealership out there, and I told them I wanted a bunch of upgrades on it, of course, because I wasn't going to back off. So they put a three and a half inch lift on it. They did a blackout package with the. Denali HD in black and the back end it says Denali HD in black. The mirrors are blacked out. The uh, marker lights are blacked out. Some of the front end parts are blacked out. Just certain areas are blacked out. And I think the color makes the color pop. They got red calipers on it. This thing is just a beast. It weighs 11,750 pounds, which my other truck was 10,000 pounds if memory serves me. But it's got electronic running boards. It's got, of course, the Denali interior. Bigger screen than the last one, which I like a lot. It's just, it rides so much better. They gave me a big enough, bigger tires as well there are 22 inch size tires and with the lift i know i lost miles per gallon and the tires my other truck was like 17 now i'm getting 13 to 14 on this one which is fine i'm not going to drive it very often unless i'm going someplace with a wife but this thing is a beast i enjoy it thoroughly and i don't think i'll buy another truck i don't i don't think i'm gonna have to it's got electronic bed cover which i love I know that that was an option. I think I paid $4,300 for that, which quite a bit for a bed cover. I had them tint the windows. I mean, it's a diesel. You can't go wrong with that. I had them clear bar the whole front end, clear bar the headlights, park lights, the roof, uh, some of the mirrors, and on the bottom of the rocker panels because I just know how these big tires are going to throw rocks everywhere, and I don't want to get a rock chip which I eventually will anyway, we all know that. Built-in gooseneck. I got my um, the uh, flag on there for the blue line, which I gotta support my buddies who are caught for sure. It'll tow up to about 20,000 pounds, probably more than that. Depends upon if you're hauling a gooseneck or not. I know it's rated for different levels. I think a goose, if you're having a gooseneck, it's rated up to 24,000 pounds on a gooseneck. Also, I put in, I sent out to my guys to have a subwoofer put in, everything underneath there, underneath the back seat. Gives a nice sound quality, it's just one sub. And I also have front and rear cameras, which I can check live even when the truck's parked. Tells me if somebody, you know, because you know assholes, they pull out in front of you and they don't realize that you can't stop as fast as they can, so that's why I put a camera on it. Also, what makes this truck cool, which is on the other one as well, is it's got the step on the tailgate, which makes it kind of slick. Unless you have a trailer hitch and you drop it and it hits your trailer hitch. That's something GMC needs to figure out. But what is also cool, and I forgot I had it, sound system on the back for tailgating. Made by Kicker. Hook your phone up to it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm curious how it sounds. I'm surprised Johnny didn't try it when he was here. Uh, but it's going to be dig so we're out in the ranch if I end up taking it to the ranch. Uh, we have sound to listen to. But I kind of dig that. It's a cool option. And it's a nice tailgate. It's heavy. And that's the only thing, other th downside I don't like about it. But... It's a beautiful truck as it is, and I love the color. Thanks to uh, the Dave Sinclair dealership for uh, getting it fixed for me and getting it out here fairly quickly. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the mail call today, being a little different, being outdoors. I know it's at a high mail call. As far as dollar amount, I think it's one of our biggest ones. So make sure you hit subscribe and take care.